Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. This is Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe, hit the community tab, and join me in the comments on all the videos. I want to talk to you guys. Y'all know how to do everything else. Let's dive into this. So, the next thing I want to kick off is the best return signee. Uh, yes, it's WWE related. Although, if we want to do AEW, I guess I could give that to... Uh, Adam Copeland because you all were super excited that Adam Copeland left WWE and went over to AEW although that excitement has fizzled he is still in a program with his uh, aka brother quote unquote um, what was it Christian Cage so Trying to keep up with that is a little bit uh, dry. I'm not going to lie. Over on the AEW side, I chose Nia Jax. Why did I chose Nia Jax? Well, if you look at all of the signees that have come back under Triple H, Nia Jax is the one that made the biggest um, impact. So let's just dive into that real quick. We had Tegan Knox get re-signed for what I don't know. We had Sarah Logan get re-signed and she looks a hot, funky double mess over there with um, Ivar. I don't even know why she's needed. Ivar is doing his thing. Unless that's Ivan. Well, whatever. The, the big one from the uh, War Raiders. Okay, well, they was called the War Raiders in NXT. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Emma... She ended up getting fired again. I don't even know what was that. That the Good Brothers ain't been on TV. Hit Roll Child. Only people that's last standing is um, B Fab and oh my goodness, what is his name? You know I'm talking about the other one who dresses terribly. B Fab was in scenes with fucking Bobby Lashley, so I don't know what's going on with that. But somebody need to um, get B Fab hooked up with Seth Rollins' uh, stylist. Because her outfit, she's looking like a like a a, a a fresh hooker, and I think she could probably step it up. Ashante the Adonis is actually very talented, so I'm hoping they're gonna uh, go ahead and dive in with him at some point. Another person who um, kind of didn't nothing went when they came back was Candice LeRae, who is Johnny Gargano's wife. Didn't nobody know who that woman is, and they still confused when she come out. Sad part is Candice LeRae is a beast. She was a beast in NXT. Mia Yim. I could do a whole podcast on Mia Yim. I do not know why this woman cannot get the the get over. Even after slapping the fuck out of Jimmy Uso, I thought that was gonna be something she could ride. But she can't get over. Then she ended up getting put with the Good Brothers and um AJ Styles. She sticks out like a sore thumb. Whatever, that didn't work. Bronson Reed, he's right now he's getting pushed. He's getting a push or whatever, but it's still not as big as Nia Jack's return. Uh Dexter Loomis, I don't know what happened to Dexter. Dexter right now should be running behind the scenes trying to stab people. I don't know what happened to Dexter. He he's a fantastic drawer. He can literally tell a story through pictures if they had creative. But whatever. That floundered. Carrying Cross and Scarlet. Scarlet needs to be let go on her own. She is the star of that circus. And once again, we got Carrying Cross in the background talking about he about to sizzle somebody in a TikTok child. Please, Carrying Cross, leave us alone. Johnny Gargano, I guess him and um, uh, Tommaso Ciampa is getting a little bit of sizzle, but they just ain't doing it. I don't know what it is. I don't find Johnny Gargano appealing at all. I did not care for him and his DYI and that non-stop shit they was doing in um, NXT. But whatever. It wasn't as big as the impact as Nia Jax. Braun Strowman ended up getting injured. But Braun Strowman did have a very successful return. Actually, now that I think about it, he can be a number two to Nia Jax return if we had to pick Two re-signings who came back and were still successful. So, Braun Strowman did have a return until he ended up getting injured. Dakota Kai cooking. She got injured. She's still on the damage, damage control. Damage control is like simmering. They're not really hot. Uh, I mean, even with Kyrie Sane coming back and she came back all fucked up in Saudi Arabia. And that match with her and Bianca Belair. I was like, Bianca don't have bad matches. So, clearly that was Kyrie Sane's fault. Even her return is like, uh, you know, like, ah, uh, it's not like a, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, 
And then, of course, you know, Bray Wyatt came back and that was a little bit rough or whatever. But anyway, we're not going to harp on that. That's on another video. Um, Nia Jax is my signee who came back and had the best uh, impact and fell right back into the fold. I think if I had to pick some factors on why it worked, it's because Nia is already known. Nia already has a, a nice, comfortable cushion of hate under her. She has a storyline and history with the company. Um, she's not vaccinated and uh, and is an idiot. And that's probably why these this next program she got with Becky Lynch is probably going to be pretty fantastic. Because people want to see her get her ass whooped. So that is my signee for return signees. I don't know why I said that. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments if you made it this far. Or just simply answer the question. Later.